Hi, it's Dia. Today I'm going to do the Roy G. Biv challenge. Roy G. Biv meaning red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Basically all the colors that you would find in your basic crayon box when you were a kid. I'm going to compare the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils to the Conti Pastel pencils. Um, I know it's not apples to apples, but I wanted to show people the difference between um, regular colored pencils, and these are Faber-Castell pencils. They're, they're very nice pencils, um, but they are very different from the Conti or any pastel pencil. And I pick Conti specifically because the Conti pencils are, <laughs> they're very gritty, which sounds awful, but as you can hear this, you can you can hear that you're drawing with a pencil. Well, you'll see the difference when I move over to the Conti pencils. It's very scratchy. And like I said, it sounds bad, but it's actually a really good thing because it helps for blending. And the colors do blend beautifully. You know what? I think what I'm going to do is make half of this very intense. I'm going to push a little bit harder on the one side, and I'm also going to see how long it takes me to do this side, meaning the Faber-Castell side versus the Conti side. And once again, I'm not being very neat, but I want you to see the difference. It's a little bit in the shadow. I find if you color too quickly with colored pencils, you just saw me go this way and then this way, it can look messy. Or if not messy, maybe a little sloppy. It can sort of affect the outcome. I think it's a little bit better if you use oil-based pencils. Okay, so far, red, orange, yellow, we have green. And I, you know, the sets of these pencils have so many different colors that it was hard to pick colors that I think would be actual basic primary colors on the color wheel. Because they don't have something that just says red or green. Like this one is, Permanent green. Is that the color from the box? I don't know. But I tried to match the colors. First of all, for what I thought would be, you know, as close as possible to the, the ones in the box and also to one another. So this is the Conti. This is the Polychromos. They're not exact, but they're as close as I could find. I've been coloring this side for three minutes. And yes, I'm taking breaks in the center to show you things, but you're getting a basic idea. And all you people who color on a regular basis know that you would be much neater and take much more care if you were coloring a picture that you really loved. I'm being a little bit messy. Not on purpose, but I'm just trying to show you the difference between these two sets. Now, in the color spectrum, it says, you know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. I'm not quite sure what indigo was. So I picked this sort of in between. Um, 
not quite purple, not quite blue, not quite maroon color. And a violet. Yeah, this is actually violet in the Faber-Castell set. Does anybody remember those crayons that we used to get when we were kids? They were in a square box and the top literally came off like it was a present. That was the best day when I was a kid when we got those at school and they told us that they were ours. And there was a flat side to one of the crayons and they were very big. And the side was flat, I'm sure, so they wouldn't roll off the desk. But the purple color in that set, okay, that just took me about seven minutes to color that. But I was gonna say the purple color in that set felt so good to color with. Okay, I don't wanna make this too long, so let's go to the Conti pastel pencils. Here's the red. Now you can hear that scratchy noise to begin with. And you can also see that you're able to color a much bigger area much faster. And for over here, I'm just gonna leave it lighter. Now I'm gonna blow off the dust and that's also a big difference from the Faber-Castells to the Contis. I'm doing this side a little bit different because it's sort of the pencils are telling me what to do. It's much easier to just go from very intense color to much lighter color. You can see a little bit of dust there. Here's the yellow. You can also see how really bright these colors show up. I love using them. I illustrated an entire children's book that happily ended up getting published by a very small publisher with a set of 24 Conti pastel pencils. Oh, you know what? I actually added one pink color for a hummingbird. So it was a set of Conti pencils and I think it was a Derwent pink that didn't come with the, um, there, there, there wasn't like an equal version in, in the Conti set. So 25 pencils. You can probably tell just by how I'm using the pencils that I'm a little more used to using the pastel pencils versus the regular colored pencils. This has taken me four minutes so far. And now we're down to the violet color. So this took about four and a half minutes. And you can see that it's a pretty big difference. And I'm not saying, hold on, I'm just gonna, rather than kind of blow this dust away, I'm gonna tip it over. Because I wanna show you what happens. See, so there, there are there are trade-offs to colored pencils. I just bumped into that a little, sorry about that. Colored pencils versus pastel pencils. You can erase this, as you can see. 
And if I had a bigger pencil eraser, or actually even a bigger eraser period, it would cover a bigger area, but I just have this little mono zero. So for now, with no blending, you can see that there's a difference. blend in the orange. I'm pushing pretty hard with this blender. And I'm going to blend over here. Now the difference also between blending, you can blend quicker once again on the pastels. But with the pastels, it removes some of the some of the color. Where with the regular pencils, it intensifies the color. Doing a little bit of blending over here too. I'm adding a little bit of orange by accident, but I only have one blender. So you can see the difference. Now I like some of the effects that the pastel pencils leave. And as you can see, you can bring some of the other colors into the lighter shades. And that's a different kind of blending altogether. And I love this too. The Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils can do other things. For example, you can't burnish a pastel pencil. So I'm not going to go over all of them, but if you take one of these Faber-Castell pencils and you go over and over again and you push hard enough, the area that you color becomes very shiny and it can make really, really wonderful effects for the ocean or for something sparkling and you can get much more intense colors after you go over it quite a bit. I'll do another example. So as you can see, it goes from very light to very dark. Yes, there is a little bit more effort in the colored pencil side of it, But it's very interesting because you really have to see what's your thing. There's also a little bit more effort to blend. Um, if I took the stump I could also get the effects that I did here. It's a little more subtle, which is actually really nice. It just depends on the medium that you like to work with. So that's it. I just wanted to do a quick video just to show the basic differences. Um, I'm going to put a full video up in Patreon one of these days so you can see from start to finish many of the colors and many of the special effects. But you get the idea. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please subscribe below. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and watch for my videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.